Dit is toch een heel erg, uh, nou, iets waar Nederland heel goed in is. En uh, ik, ik weet niet of er vergelijkbare plaatsen zijn in Amerika. Aan proeven. Uh, aan proeven, aan, aan, uh, aan uh, mij, greenhouses doet. Is mij niet bekend. Uh, ik, Misschien China. Uh, ik moet wel zeggen, er wordt in het buitenland best wel veel gedaan aan, aan uh, wetenschappelijk onderzoek. Voor de, voor de landbouw, maar voor de glastuinbouw specifiek. Daar is in Nederland wel... Uh, 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 Heel lopen. voortrekker, ja. ja. Of hoe, wat te doen met de energie, dat is natuurlijk de, de grote vraag. Hè? Ja, ja. Bij de, uh, de eerste kast trek ik mijn jasje aan. Ja. Uh, dat is uh, en een jas aan doen is om uh, uh, besmetting te voorkomen. Besmetting te voorkomen. Ja. Dus het is natuurlijk wel kwetsbaar ja, zo'n uh, kast als het ware. Geen jassen? Uh, oh, this is for the irrigation. Yeah, this is for irrigation. It's for the A and B box with uh, different kinds of uh, fertilizer. Nutrients. Nutrients. Yeah. So how do you get the nutrients? Are the nutrients commercially made, or uh, is it? Yes. They are. They are. In that sense, there is not a closed system. Uh, no, no, it's it's closed because the drain water is uh, recycled. And, uh, the crop needs a lot of nutrients, so yeah, we have to, to uh, buy it from uh, somewhere else. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely closed. Only there is one, just one small uh, lock, yeah. lock where, where the air is uh, going out. If there is uh, there is some air put inside of uh, uh, of the warehouse through these tubes, and and then, uh, if there is uh, too much. Uh, uh, pressure in, in this greenhouse, it can be uh, uh, ventilated. ventilated through that small hole, uh -huh. so it's not much. Most of the, the, the energy is uh, it's cooled with the coolers and uh, on top of the... Oh yeah? And it's water cooling or what kind of cooling is it? It's, it's water cooling. Water cooling. Yeah. It's, uh, the, the, the boxes are cooled with water around uh, 8 degrees, 6 to 8 degrees, and uh, the, 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 it comes out with uh, 18, 20 degrees. Okay. So the, the, with 18 to 20 degrees Celsius, we produce energy. Yeah, right. That's the energy we produce in this. Uh, uh -huh. in this greenhouse. 18, 20 degrees in the, yeah. in the greenhouse. And with 80, 20 degrees, we can put it in uh, uh, in, in aquifers down uh, down the earth. It's not uh, the, and in in winter time we can put a 20 degrees in in a heat pump. Mm -hmm. And with a heat pump, you can make from 20 degrees you can make 40 degrees. And with 40 degrees, you can heat the greenhouse again. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. But you need a heat pump for to heat this kind of greenhouses. Uh -huh. As you can feel, the temperature is quite high and it's humid. It's very yeah. good for the plants. Yeah. A little bit difficult for the people who have to work in it. Yeah. But the humblebees... Uh, the they bumblebees, <laughs> uh, are they here uh, to, to pollinate? To pollinate, yeah. Uh, to pollinate, yeah. Okay, so 
They are bumblebees that just live here. They have their own uh, place to live. Bumblebees are more or less solitary uh, pollinators, right? They have, have a home. There, there's a box here where, where they uh, where they go, where they live, and where they go in the, in the night. And these plants are more or less how how old? These are planted in um, December. December. Uh, so, so half a year, a little over half a year, yeah, maybe. You can see on the long stems you have. So here, these ha has been old. It goes all the way around, all the way around. All the way around. And, there it is. and there it is. This will be grown until October, November, and then the, the crop will be changed. You start all new. Start all new, yeah. And you start from seed, or do you uh, clone? Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's from seeds, yeah. It's from seeds? Yeah. But these, uh, these are part of the water system here? Yes, this is uh, to heat, to heat the, uh, the, the greenhouse. It's better to heat it with pipes than with uh, slurps. Oh. So, because uh, the, the distribution of heat is done better with, uh, with, with pipes. Aha. Uh -huh difficult to have a good uh, horizontal distribution with tubes. So uh, during the day you store the heat and then during the night uh, these ones uh, uh, use the heat to, uh, to disperse in the whole uh, greenhouse. Yes. More or less. Yeah, more or less or in summer and winter. Yeah, you can feel uh, the, the wind from the outside air is, is cool pulled in just to uh, bring some dry air into the greenhouse. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. And most of the, the, the greenhouse is especially also cooled by the crop itself, by the... Um, oh, evaporation. Evaporation of the, of the crop. Uh -huh. To uh, close it completely, you have to uh, uh, have a lot of uh, cooling energy and cooling cap capacity uh, into the, the greenhouse and this can cool with about 400 watts per square meter and that's not enough to keep it completely closed yeah. so we have to change a little bit of uh, put a little, little bit of outside air in, air in. Yeah. also for the dehumidification de dehumidification is also cheaper with outside air than with the cooling I see so that's why we do it here with some outside air. And here you have, uh, you're using uh, as, a, as a ground, you're using percolite or what is it? It's uh, rock wool. Rock wool. So the rock wool and then uh, it's being irrigated totally through uh, this system right here? Yeah. These small pipes did the, the, the the rock wool gets a little uh, water, drip, drip. Yeah, a little drip. And uh, it's distributed and stored in this thick layer of rock uh, wool.